as prevailed in front of banks and other financial institutions, as the conditional ease on previously imposed lockdown begins in Lagos. Various customers had to contend with long queues due to strict rules on the number of people allowed in. This development could be described as a litmus test to the much-touted social distancing, which is virtually non-existent here and in other similar situations. Venturing further into retail and other commercial districts, the scenes are no better. The usual crowded scene, a hallmark of a bustling city like Lagos, slowly lived up to expectations. Traders were seen displaying their wares, hopeful for quick sales, coming from a five-week and initial partial lockdown. Some bared their minds on the experience while the lockdown lasted. The experience was so hectic and, you know, after all set and done, we have some challenges. The food stuff and other things. And uh, more especially, poor power supply from the power holding. It's very, very, it's very, very, it's a hard experience, yeah. But I thank God for life. Yeah, because I believe the, the pandemic is real. Yeah, so, and I have to do some, I have to isolate myself for all those periods. So, I thank God. The federal government have to, they call us, they call the, the, uh, the restriction off for, for a week. So, I'm happy for, the, for everything. Other commercial districts showed increase in human and vehicular activities. The capital markets saw low public presence as stockbrokers and investors continued with remote trading via online platforms in the comfort of homes and offices. With easing measures of getting business activities back on track going forward, there are expectations in the days to come. Actually, my expectation for this week, um, I think, I believe, I pray to Almighty Allah to make everything possible, especially for we that are doing small, small business like this. Because, and then I really appreciate what the way government should do the lockdown, especially with the traders. So, my expectation, especially this week, at least to see a little money for food so that we are can able to cater for my family and my relative. It's a very hard experience. Very, very hard experience. We never expected that to happen. But because of uh, anything that concerns lives, so we need to concur with whatever government put in place to save lives and property. It's a very challenging situation, but there's nothing we can do. Um, our expectation actually is that we can, we know we cannot recover what we have lost, but at least we can make something out of what we left behind while we are coping, waiting for pandemic to give way. And we are going to our expectation that let us at least find something eating and feed our children. Everybody have to do so because uh, it's life before wealth. You have to have life before you have any other thing. Yes, that is our expectations. Nigerians need to adhere, concur, agree with the government. Whatever rule and regulation they bring, we have to obey it. It's a sure banker. Humanitarian gestures were noticed as free meals were being given to traders in the region, a development rarely seen in that part of Lagos. With commercial activities yet to peak in Lagos, the scenario is one of uncertainty with a partial curfew still in place. There are indications the development may prevail if current events are anything to go by. Ni <laughs>